Today we are decorating for Christmas. This is our storage room. It's a little bit messy because we had a very close call about two weeks ago. This is my pride and joy. That's where it sits. It's so adorable. Where is it? Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Happy December 2nd. It's another day we should sell, Joe. It is. It's very exciting. Um, today we are decorating for Christmas. Normally we wait for Brendan and Katie to get home from college, but as it turns out, um, they're not here this weekend because it's the FSU game. FSU is in the ACC football championship versus Louisville. Go FSU. And then next weekend I'm working and then the, and they're not even home yet. And the following weekend when they get home, we are going to go to Rochester, um, to celebrate with our Mike's side of the family. So then we wouldn't be able to decorate until like right before Christmas. So I'm just going to take it on and do it myself today. Ryan can join me if he wants, but he is going to be working in the golf course. So I think Mike and I are going to take on decorating the Christmas, decorating the house for Christmas. So come with us and see how it goes. Right now it's very plain and regular. I did do a little bit of decoration out there. I did do a little bit of decoration um, at the front entry, but otherwise it's going to be Christmassy. Mike has asked me to keep it simple. He seems to think that in the past when I've decorated for Christmas, I've been a little cluttery. Does that sound right, Mike? A little cluttery? So I was inspired. I saw my sister who decorated her place down here already for Christmas. We had to go run some things over and she already, she's so organized. She already had it decorated. So when they show up for Christmas, it's already decorated and it's so sweet. I'm like, okay, I've taken some inspiration for just like little touches here and there. So I'm going to go do an inventory of all of our Christmas decoration. Mike's going to get it down from the attic. Hopefully nothing melted over the summer because it's really hot up there. I'll do an inventory of everything we have and some things I'll keep and some things I won't. I mean, I have a lot of things that are sentimental, but it's like, do they really still go? So I don't know. Maybe I'll just keep a box of the sentimental stuff and not get rid of it, but just not put it up. Maybe that's what I'll do. Anyway, we have a lot of ornaments too. Same thing. There's, anyway, so stay tuned to find out how it goes. And um, I'm hoping to Ryan that Ryan will wake up soon. What do you think? We need to put your Christmas bow on. You have a Christmas bow tie, don't you, buddy? Yes, you do. Yes, I know. We both are missing Alice. Eddie's definitely missing her. I'm missing Alice. I will tell you, I watched a show on um, Animal Planet yesterday called Cats. And, it, oh, so, I'm sorry. I just kneeled right on your little tail. I'm sorry, buddy. And in this show, it was like stories of like cats who have disappeared for a long time and then come back. So I am still hopeful that Alice is going to come back. Um, I posted her yet again on another page this morning. Um, and I just keep checking out pages. We had a very close call about two weeks ago, I was checking the last pages and this little kitty showed up and I'm like, oh my gosh, the picture looks like it could be Alice, but like the light, like if the lighting were just off a little bit, cause she had a little like lighter paw on her right, right, right paw. Anyway, I called the vet and sent my pictures of Alice and they said, no, it wasn't her. So we keep checking and I'm still very hopeful that she will make it home. There we go. There we go. <laughs> so this is what I'm working with, you guys. This is our storage room. It's a little bit messy. Right up there is where Mike has stored all the Christmas decorations. So I have to clear a path right through here and try to organize this and um, make it easier to get the Christmas decorations out here. All right, we have a spot cleaned out. We are ready to go. Mike's coming in with the ladder. Thank you, Michael John. Excuse me, ma'am. Oh, pardon me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Can pardon me. Excuse vacuum me. all this stuff up too? Well, not too, because it's going to get messy when we take it all down. So we can vacuum it all up before we put the stuff down. Mike is very um, clean, which is good. Yeah. I can't stand dirty on dirty. Yeah. He has to clean the whole house before we put the Christmas decorations Well, up. you can't put dusty stuff on top of dusty stuff. Well, what if I undust the stuff? What if you were just to be quiet? <laughs> How about that? What if I were to knock over your ladder? <laughs> oh, 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 oh. What's all that? Insulation. Oh, my gosh. That's what Santa uses to keep people from going in here. Ah, perfect. Whoa, oh, oh. You know Da 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 da, oh oh, da 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 da, make it rain. 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 Da
making our Christmas memories. I've been working so much lately. I can barely find the time to sleep. Yeah, I spend my time running around, keeping people pleased. But this is my favorite holiday. It's a chance to start over new. 'Cause I missed you so, I'm letting go of everything but you. Our theme this year is simplicity. So we have, I love this sign. Oh, the weather outside is sunny and delightful. It's one of my favorite things. That actually lights up, but I just need to get batteries for it. One more trip to the store. But these are the pillows that we sold last year, bright and merry. So that's what it looks like when you come in. Okay, we, it wasn't overwhelming. Joy. Mike doesn't really like this tree. He said it looks cheesy, but it's our Maryland tree. I have crabs and just like, my friends gave me these oysters. Like this is an oyster that's painted with a decoration on it. That's a crab that's painted an oyster. That's an oyster. Little starfishies. And actually there's one more crab oh, right down here. I got that as a gift too from my friends in Maryland. So that's my Maryland tree. And that's a little picture of Brennan on his very first Christmas. Let me pick that up so you can see it. It's so cute. Look how cute he is in his little Christmas jammies. And you guys, okay, keep in mind that Christmas tree. So the Christmas tree that he's sitting next to, you're gonna see it in just a second. Okay, this is another picture that was taken, I don't know, four or five years ago. That's one of our Christmas pictures. We got all the plaids on in Maryland. A little candle. Then over here, this is not how it's going to end up, but this is just where I am with this now. That lights up. Um, the candle, I need to unwrap that, but I think I'm gonna get a table runner as well that goes underneath that. And I'm not sure, maybe very, very simple there. But this is my pride and joy. I love this. I got a picture off of Pinterest and tried to emulate it, sort of. I was really perplexed on how to decorate shelving for Christmas. So, these we already had. These are all new. I love that one, I love that shelf. This, of course, our nativity scene we already had, but this is new and this is new. And we already had the snow globe, but this is new and this is new. Peace on earth. And then this, Mike doesn't like this lower shelf, so I think I might move it around a little bit, but it's kind of functional because that's where our pieces are that we use, you know, during Christmas, but a little Christmas box, and then of course a water jug. And look who visited us. Yes, the elf on the shelf. Hi, buddy. Followed us all the way down to Florida, which is amazing. All right, this is a great story. I love, love, love this. So this is, these are little, oops. He has been going on and off. I think I need to replace his bulb. But this is a little um, winery and a church and Santa's ice cream shop. These are a little pieces from a Christmas village that my brother gave to each one of us, uh, his, his brothers and sisters, through Christmases throughout the year. I used to have another piece, and I can't remember what it was, but it has since broken, which is a bummer. But I love this little Christmas village. I put it up every year. It's one of my favorite things ever. We have our Merry Christmas pillow and our Joy pillow and Joy to the World pillows. I just got those, those are new. And this is one of my favorites too. I love this little Christmas tree. This used to be in our, um, what did, did the light just go out? No, it didn't, there we go. This used to be in our dining room when we lived in Maryland. I think I'm gonna get a tree collar for that because that, I'm just not happy with the way that that looks. You guys can comment below, let me know. I am taking, feedback on all of these decorations by the way let me know what you think um, we just didn't want to be overwhelming but we wanted it to be a little bit classical and then this I love this little wreath right here and he can switch watch this he can go to white and then that goes to different colors he can go to regular white blinky all kinds of stuff so it depends what mood we're in what we have that on but for right now for this little show I just wanted to have him be all colors and these are some more of the pillows that we sold last year the peace the joy is just a little outside I want to get a new one for this I want to get navy blue for this but right now that's what we have 
So a quick story about that little Christmas tree that I showed you in the picture with Brennan for his first birthday. We bought that little tree and then we used it in every Christmas picture that we had up through maybe like five years ago. And so the tree stayed the same size, but the kids grew taller and taller. It is a great series of Christmas pictures as they grew up through. So we still have that tree and right now it is in the kids' bathroom. <laughs> Because we have, I, I really had no place else to put it. I didn't want to put it out here because eventually our Christmas tree tree is going to go there. But anyway, that's where it sits. It's so adorable and so little, so cute. And then we have this little guy, just little things. I got that as a gift last year from a uh, fam member. So thank you so much, member of our family. There is our Christmas pillow. Anyway, this stuff is extra. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with that yet. Nana and Pap give us those. We used to have three. I don't know whether actually third one actually might be in Katie's room. One for each of the kids. And this is our mantle. It's nothing, no great shakes. I'm not exactly sure what to do with the mantle. It's sort of in a state of becoming. I need to do something with the wires back there. Those are our stockings. I love my little Santas, my little Mickey, our FSU ornaments. I love those. So I'm not sure, but there's an Xbox there. So that's the whole point is you can't really move the Xbox. So I had to decorate around the Xbox. Oh, this plugs in, by the way. And it's, it's colorful, which is nice, especially at night. Hold on, stay tuned. There we go. So it does light up. But I, I'm not exactly sure what to do, but up here, so we'll have that, and then we'll have the Christmas tree over here, which will make it much more festive. And then we have this little tree over here that my friend Catherine gave me that I love. It reminds me of when I was a kid. So a little lit up Christmas tree. And then of course, candles in the windows. And that's pretty much it. That's, that's all she wrote. Oh no, I do have a little bit of stuff in the bathroom downstairs, but um, yeah, so that's our, those are our Christmas decorations so far. Stay tuned to find out what we do with the tree because we're having this debate right now whether or not we get an artificial tree um, down here and a real tree up in Maryland or an artificial tree in Maryland, a real tree down here or two artificial trees, two real trees because we're not sure if we're spending Christmas in Maryland or in Florida yet, the actual Christmas Eve, Christmas Day. So stay tuned to find out. It has a lot to do with, well, my flight schedule. I'm not working those days, so we could be down here, but we also could stay up there and, and do our traditional Christmas Eve dinner that we do with our friends, Lori and Bobby, and, and then come down here. I'm not sure what we're going to do, but um, it's nice to have the option, but then our whole family, my whole family, my side of the family is coming down. Um, everybody will be here on the 25th, the night of the 25th of Christmas night, so if we do stay up there, we'll try to get back down here to the 25th or 26th. So that's it, you guys. Thank you so much for coming along with me. Um, I would love to see your decorations. Listen, hey, if you're not a member yet of um, the Fam Club, t check it out. It's on Patreon. It is a super fun place where we share um, with the family and us. We like just share all kinds of pictures and ideas and conversation. And we have a monthly live meeting where we they, we get to like ask questions of you guys. You guys ask questions of us, and we do like an update. It's real casual and fun. So if you're not a member of the Fam Club yet, check it out. And we have already started a Christmas chat, so we're putting up ideas, and I'm seeing other people's Christmas trees and getting ideas from them as well. So anyway, um, thank you so much for watching. Comment down below uh, if you've decorated for Christmas yet or for the holidays yet and what your favorite Christmas decoration or holiday decoration is. Mine has to be the little tree that we used for our Christmas cards. I right, see you guys later. Bye.